السلام علیکم آج ہم بات کریں گے میکنزم آف سٹومیٹل اوپننگ اینڈ کلوزنگ ہاؤ سٹومیٹا اوپن جورنگ ڈے اینڈ ہاؤ دے کلوز جورنگ نائٹ ان پریویس لیکچر وی ہیو سین دیٹ دس سٹومیٹل اوپننگ اینڈ کلوزنگ از ڈیو ٹو دا ویریشن آف ٹرگر پریشر جورنگ ڈے اینڈ نائٹ اینڈ دیٹ ویریشن ان ٹرجیڈیٹی آف گاڈ سیلز از ڈیو ٹو انکریز and decrease of solute concentration during day and night respectively. And in this lecture we will see how this variation in solute concentration occurs during day and night. First we see during day the concentration of solutes in guard cells increases and that increase in concentration of these solutes is due to two responses which are generated in God cells. One is photosynthesis and another is blue light mediated responses. During photosynthesis the end product is glucose which in turn during day gets converted into sucrose which is an osmotically active compound. So that means during day by photosynthesis sucrose concentration increases inside God cells. Another response is due to the blue wavelength of light which is very important as far as pseudomatal opening and closing is concerned. By this blue light, first the proton pumps which are present on plasma membrane, these are, this is plasma membrane, we have pumps present on it, these are proton pumps, these pumps are H positive ATP aces. So they are using ATP, they are utilizing ATP, they break down ATP and by phosphorylation they get activated with the help of this uh, wavelength of light. And these proton pumps, they are transmembrane proteins. They span the membrane. They have two different sides, one inside guard cell and another outside guard cell. And by which these protons are pumped across the membrane. These protons, they are pumped out and by pumping out outside this plasma membrane, they generate electrochemical gradient and by pumping out the H positive concentration which increases in, uh, in apoplast and this, due to this positive charge the membrane gets hyperpolarized. This plasma membrane having more positive charge outside plasma membrane and more less positive charge inside it gets polarized it gets highly polarized that means it is called a membrane hyperpolarization and th due to this membrane hyperpolarization having less positive charge inside and more positive charge outside the k positive channels get activated and due to this K positive potassium ion channels, activation of these channels, these potassium ions, they get uh, transferred into these guard cells. And due to accumulation, due to continuous transfer, passive movement of these uh, potassium ion channels, the positive charge develops inside this, inside this guard cell. And simultaneously, certain anion channels in order to neutralize this positive charge these anion channels like chloride channels they get activated and chloride is transferred inside these guard cells in order to neutralize the charge of potassium ions so thus in nutshell we have we see that during act by this activation of proton pumps they Potassium ion and chloride ion concentration increases during day. And another is synthesis of organic acids. 
So this is also due to the belief uh, wavelength of light. By this belief wavelength of light, this stimulates the starch degradation during day. The starch is degraded and the intermediate molecules of starch degradation they react with carbon dioxide which is already present in the, in the cells like we have PEP phosphoenol pyruvate this phosphoenol pyruvate it reacts with carbon dioxide with the help of PEP carboxylase phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase and they form organic acid which is which we call as oxaloacetic acid oxalo acetic acid pep is phosphoenol pyruvate phosphoenol pyruvate having three carbons reacts with another car carbon of carbon dioxide and they form a four carbon compound organic acid which is called oxaloacetic acid this oxaloacetic in turn gets reduced it gets reduced from malic acid which is also a four carbon compound and this malic acid dissociates into malate negative ions and H positive ions during day so thus malate ion concentration also increases inside these God cells during day so in nutshell we will see during day there is increase in concentration of sucrose which is due to photosynthesis potassium ions and chloride ions which is due to the activation of proton pumps and malate ion which is due to the formation of these organic acids. So by increasing the concentration of sucrose, potassium ions, chloride ions and malate ions the water potential of these guard cells gets decreased and by decreasing water potential the water enters from a nearby subsidiary cells called the endosmosis by the process called the endosmosis and due to endosmosis the turgidity of these guard cells increases and which in turn helps these cells in this uh, stomata to open but in uh, during night we see there is no photosynthesis that means there is no increase in sucrose concentration there is no blue light mediated responses so that means there is no potassium ion concentration increase there is no increase in chloride negative or malate uh, negative ions so there is the reverse of steps during night by which pseudomata show exosmosis and in turn so, uh, this, this pseudomata remain closed thank you